please welcome to the stage Meek Gibbon of the Core DNS Project. Yes, I can. Doubt, better leave. I'm running with this plan. Pull me, grab me, grab us in the fuck you can't have me. I'll be the president one day. Hi. I want to talk a bit about uh, Core DNS and uh, what it is and why you want to use it probably. Yes. <laughs> uh, Core DNS is a DNS server, and it um, changed middleware, where each middleware is probably is best defined as a Go function. Uh, in my mind, it's the successor of SCARDNS2, which I also wrote. Uh, uh, what you can do with it, for instance, you can talk to Kubernetes. There's an etcd backend. Uh, there's caching middleware. There's Prometheus for monitoring, and uh, loads of others already. For instance, right now, kubeDNS is based on SkyDNS2. It uses DNS mask for the caching bit and the sidecar. Uh, if you want to replace it with CoreDNS, you just need CoreDNS. And the middleware is Kubernetes, a cache, a proxy, and Prometheus. So the best way to think about CoreDNS is it talks DNS as a configurable pipeline of middleware. Uh, we got accepted as an inception level project by the uh, CNCF which means we finally have a professional logo. <laughs> uh, the thing that we want to do with this is become the service discovery uh, of choice in the cloud native landscape. Uh, we hope to pull it off. We have a small team of core contributors. Uh, I noted in, in SkyDNS that the number of people actually contributing was low-ish, and I think that might be uh, something to have to do with the DNS protocol, which is a bit iffy. Uh, Drive-by commits, uh, seeing uptake of that. And the most area of uh, development is, is the middleware. We're also playing with gRPC and, and TLS because of gRPC. Uh, what can CoreDNS do? It is able to replace kubeDNS. We, on our CoreDNS.io site, we have a blog showing how to do this. It's also a full-blown DNS server. Uh, you can read zone files and serve them. It does zone transfers, it does DNSSEC, and it does DNSSEC on the fly signing. Uh, we just merged uh, gRPC, so we can talk gRPC. We still encode twice, once for the DNS and once for the gRPC message. Uh, we have a good, healthy relation with Caddy, which is a web server, and CoreDNS uh, came into existence by forking Caddy as a web server and basically replacing HTTP with DNS. Uh, so we have a good, healthy relationship with them. And uh, all the middleware can also be dis disabled build time. So if you don't need it, you can just uh, edit a config file, go gen, go build, and you don't have it. Uh, what are our next steps? What do we want to accomplish this year? Uh, zero touch DNSSEC. It's a bit of a pet peeve from, from my side. It's, it's not really cloud native, but I like DNSSEC, and I like it to be zero friction. Uh, I would like to replace cube DNS but it's not in my hand, so uh, I can only make a good case of it. A full gRPC instead of DNS. The downside there is that DNS is, is backwards compatible, and gRPC, of course, is, is not. Uh, find a way to have callback and watches that we have from each CD, instead of relying on the DNS TTL to time out. That would be nice. Again, hard to make backwards compatible. Uh, polish speed. Uh, there is apparently a nice cluster I can play with now that I'm in the CNCF, so I want that. And we also have policy integration for multi-tenancy, and that's mostly InfoBlox that's pushing that. Uh, if you have a healthy dislike of DNS, like me, come to the saloon on Thursday. I will chat about uh, service discovery, like SRV records, how are they used, uh, the DNS extension mechanism. Yes, there is an extension mechanism, eDNS0. Uh, how that might be able to be used in, in cloud-native uh, uh, setups. Debuggability, that was a, a large gripe with, with SkyDNS. If DNS fails, how do you debug the whole thing, which is, is, is hard. And uh, talk about the DNS limitations, the 512 minimum or maximum packet size, the 64K maximum size if you use TCP, 255 label uh, max name size, also annoying in some setups, and some other uh, uh, things that are invented in 1984, if I'm not mistaken. So please come to the saloon if you're interested. Thank you very much. <laughs>